We had a wonderful piece of equipment, that B-29. It was a, really a, a step up in advancement of aircraft from the old B-24s and B-17s. You wouldn't believe. If it's just a better airplane, bigger and better, I'd, I'd have to say. It'd carry a huge bomb load. It was pressurized. We'd sit up there high altitude of where we were, shirt sleeves, smoking cigarettes, communicating back and forth with the guys in the back. You know, we, we had a crew of 11, and uh, we had a tail gunner. That guy was something else. He had to stand in, in that very small compartment back on the back of that thing. We had some missions that were 14 hours, and uh, most of them were in the 12-hour range. That's a long time to sit back there. <laughs> he couldn't leave as long as we uh, were pressurized. But when we got down to lower altitudes coming home, we'll find out why he could crawl back out of the tube and come in there. But that was, that was a tough position, I thought. We got a, a flight coming up, and we got our crew together, and. We went on that horrible fire raid, March the 9th raid. I forgot how many planes they put over there. Well over 100, I'm sure. We were scheduled in about, oh, I would say, 3 o'clock in the morning for our part of the target. We got to the target, and you know, the bombardier dropped the bombs. We hit our target, and we got out of there and made it safely home, obviously. I tell you, the fires were burning so bright. You could almost read a paper in the cockpit. We were at 7,000 feet. The result of that fire was 16 square miles of Tokyo destroyed, burned, and probably close to 100,000 civilians killed in this thing. Why did we do that? Japan had what was called a cottage industry of uh, building things. This little home over here, a group of people would build parts, for, say the wheels or tires or assemble whatever pieces for the zero or whatever they were doing. This little guy over here would do this. And first thing you know, if they had enough stuff put together, they could make a zero over here somewhere. Now that's a crude way of saying it, but that's, the thought was we needed to destroy that to reduce their effectiveness and to air defense. And it worked. It was a devastating. Frankly, I think it was worse than Hiroshima. 